Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. We got the little M1 carbine out today. You know, some time ago I got in some uh, some bullets from uh, Midway USA and uh, they were these uh, berry bullets for the uh, 30 carbine, 110 grain. And we loaded them up with a good charge of uh, H110 powder and small rifle primers and uh, here they are I don't know I've never tried this bullet so I thought we'd uh, we'd test it out today and uh, do some shooting with it first we're gonna first we're gonna set up a target down there and see where these bullets are hitting way off down there all about uh, 30 yards and I've got some uh, some old blue jean denim pants, uh, blue jeans that are soaked in water. And uh, we're going to shoot into them, see what kind of expansion and all we get. So uh, let's sit up and get started. Oh yeah, first thing I want to want to show you guys something here. If I can get my camera to work. Check this out. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta zoom out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gotta fire the camera, man. Just had to fire myself. Alright, it's uh it's about uh 8 30, 9 o'clock in the morning here, and uh, this is what it is already. And they're saying it's going to get up to 100 degrees today. But check this out. The humidity is already 76%. So it feels like 99 <laughs> already. So I thought I'd get out here and do this video because it's going to be a hot you-know-what today. So here we go. Let's get set up. All right, guys, so here we are. We're all set here. We're going to shoot the uh, target first and see where the bullets are impacting. And then the last thing we'll do is uh, we'll shoot the, uh, the denim, the wet denim down there to see, uh, see what kind of uh, penetration and uh, expansion that we get from these bullets. We just want to see what they do. I have no idea. So uh, let's get started. Yeah, so I went down there and I checked, and uh, it looks like we're uh, we're pretty much hitting in the bullseye. Maybe about uh, maybe about 5:30 on the bullseye, right at the bottom. So uh, you know that's about what this gun does. This is no bench press rifle; it's a combat rifle. Feels good to sit down. Alright guys, so the little rifle's shooting pretty good. And uh, we're pretty much on target with it. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot that uh, that denim, that wet denim down there and see what we got. Then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up and take a look at everything. 
I got two more bullets. I'm gonna I'm gonna use them. Here we go. So hopefully we we did all right. Let's go. I'm gonna run down there and check everything out. Be right back with you. All right, guys. Tell us the tape. Here's the target. We fired three shots and we got three impacts. I know this one was the first one. The next two went a little bit low. About an inch. About an inch. Center to center, maybe a little bit less. That's about what this rifle does. Most military rifles are about a three to four MOA guns. Military considers that suitable accuracy. Okay, we're gonna go uh, check the uh, check the other target out now. All right, guys, we're down at the denim now. I've got them tied together with butcher twine. Looks like we got an entrance hole here, I think, and then one right here. I believe that would be right. It looks like at least one of them went all the way through, but I'm not seeing any I'm not seeing any impact on the backstop here, unless that's it. Yeah, yeah, it went through there and blowed the back of that backstop out right there. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good bit of denim, guys. And it's wet, too, so... That usually stops bullets. Well, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want carbine, ain't no joke. People can say it's anemic and underpowered and all that crap all they want to, but you get that little filler at the right yardage, and yeah, that thing does a job. Well, let's peel this denim back and see if we got any, if we got any uh, bullet fragments or anything in it. Let me get my old pocket knife out here and cut this twine. Let's see what our what our bullet actually did. With these there, entered there, came out there, entered here, right below the watch pocket. Went through both of those. See, it's starting to expand more. So it does, it does have some expansion to it. Okay, it went through here. It's expanding about as big as my finger now. It came out right back there on the cuff. Went through right there. And that's about as big as my, big around as my thumb. So, and it came out back there. Came out there, still expanding. 
Yeah, so. Wow. I hate we didn't catch that bullet. If I'd have, if I'd have had any idea it would have went through all of that, I would have, uh, I would have put some more backstop up to, to stop it. But, uh, man, it went through that board like it wasn't nothing, too, after it got through all of that, so. Yeah, I'm happy with that little old bullet, and it, it spreads out big enough to do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> Good enough for me, guys. All right, guys, so that's a uh, take two. All right, guys, so uh, that's a uh, that's a demonstration of the uh, berry bullets, 110 grain, loaded uh, with the uh, Hogston's H110 powder out of the M1 carbine. If you're on a, a reloader and you're on the fence about whether you whether you want to use these bullets or not, I used them because it was all I could get. These bullets and stuff are hard to find, along with the brass. Oh, I I was able to recover four of my brass, so that stuff's hard to come by. If you're on the fence about whether you want to use these bullets or not. You just saw what they could do. I think I'm going to be satisfied with them. I'm glad to have them. So uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next one. If you hadn't already done so, hit that subscribe button, the like button. Hit Help the channel out. We're trying to grow. And uh, till then, you guys be safe. Bye.